Hey, Shalom. First of all, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give it up, honest to the apostles, great millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give it peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the videos edifying. Lord willing, you Akim get something from this video. Just a quick video, man. I was watching a video earlier. The elder had did in Dallas, um, just basically on how you know Amalek got the land, you know, through you know the Belt Four Declaration, and you know, Lord willing, to, you know, the Lord put the Spirit on me to do another video, diving deeper, deeper into it. I will, um, but right now this is going to be a quick video in transit, um, you know, just so I could, while the thoughts are still fresh, I could lay them down, you know, and for you, I came to hear it. Um, and again, Lord willing, your brothers are edified, but just with, with, when you do your history, you do the research on how these people acquired that, acquired our land, Israel, right? You go, you start seeing why we call these people the great deceivers, right? They're great deceivers, okay? Not only did they break treaties, not only did they, you know, remove landmarks which is wicked not only did they you know kill and, and and you know commit all kind of different you know you know things that a thief would do right it wasn't back it wasn't back by scripture now them getting to that land obviously that's that's prophesied because scripture say that a bastard should dwell in Ashdod and it says that Edom has appointed that land into their possession which indeed they have, okay? But one thing I would say, you know, scriptures talk about Israel, right? Which those people are claiming to be the Israelites, right? They said that they will be at, they'll, they'll, they'll be at, basically, the nations will be their enemies. But how is it that non-Israelites, who you people, because you, you, you guys say you're the people, but non-Israelites, right? Great Britain or other Edomites outside of you guys, right? Outside of you Amalekites, how is it that they helped you? Right? How is it that they helped you? How is it that they funded you? Not did they not only funded you to get in that land, but to do what you did when you got in that land as far as guns and the financial the financial uh, uh backing and you know how did you have power to, you know, have UN pool? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, how did you have that power, man? Because, uh, because you're not the people. When you go to Psalms 83, it tells you, I believe it's 83, 84, it tells you that the heathen are confederate against Jake, basically, against Israel. They're confederate against Jake, man. Thy enemies make a tumult, right? The heathen are, are, are Israel's enemies, man. But how is it that you guys are getting backed by nations to get in that land? And then when you get in that land, right, you have one uh, J-O-O, -O, small hat, right? You know, he was asked the question. He said, man, what'd you do? You know, when that basically when the rule came down that y'all could take that land, right? What did you, he was like, what did you do? You know, he was like, man, I, you know, basically he killed, you know, he, 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 you know, he, he, he killed, he killed, you know, the Palestinians, man. And when you get into the basis of the history behind how they got in that land, you will understand the war between or the, you know, different, I would say like small little wars between Palestine and Amalek, you will you will you will understand why they at it, why they going at it, man. Because really, the land don't belong to either one of y'all. Just to be completely honest, you know, according to biblical prophecy, you guys will be taken and rooted out of that land, and you guys will be in subjection, and that's real. But you see the devil for what he is once you do the history and your research, right? on how these people moved. Now, the same way how they got the land of Israel, 
is the same way how other Edomites got America. Just think about that. Right? They went into Israel and in, in 250,000 Palestinians were moved. Right? Moved. Now to this day they're throwing hot rocks at each other. Right? And then probably more than that was killed. Right? I believe over 250,000 was turned into refugees. And, right? But you had before 1948, you had small Amalek communities in that land that was already trying to push forth they bullshit, they, they, the bullshit. Right? But they were a small number compared to the Palestinians in that land. Now it's about damn near, you know, if not more, it's, little, it's, it's even. So my question is, how are you people, to, how are you people subject to that land and how can you back it up with scriptures how can you back it up with the bible you Christians how can you back up Amalek being in that land after hearing the history of how they got in that land how can you use scriptures to back that up but you know what your average Christian will do they'll use the scripture to say oh God loves everybody Especially you, uh, you nigga pastors, right? Whose mouths must be stopped? Who teach things they who teach things they ought not for filthy lucre, right? Like it says in the scriptures, those who have the own, those of the own circumcision, who subvert whole houses, who teach things they ought not. I believe that what Titus the first chapter if I'm not mistaken right so guess what and then you got people that will make like for instance a couple days ago I was having a conversation with a family member who actually attends a church and understands the wrongdoing that the pastor's doing now but the pastor's mother Right, was is is backing up the wrongdoing that the pastor's doing and saying if you keep calling out his wrongdoing, then you could be judged because you're not supposed to judge your pastor. Listen, Deuteronomy one and seventeen, man. I believe one and eighteen, one and seventeen, I believe it is. Right, so you you people see, our people, man, y'all y'all got some fucking nerve, man. Right, and then she goes to say, "Well, maybe he don't understand all what he he don't understand what he teaching." Well, you don't understand what you teach him, but you got a flock and a congregation of number. A big number, and you lead these people to to, to stray. I believe Ezekiel thirteen talks about that, man. You lead these people to damnation. You lead these. You, you trying to tell these people to relax here in America? Don't worry about it. Relax. This is. It ain't that bad. It, yeah, we started off fucked up, but you can do this. You can do that. You can do this, and you trying to get people comfortable. But instead of telling them what America is, because you don't know what America is, you don't understand the spiritual names for America in the Bible. And if you understood it, then you will understand what we're saying. And what we're telling you is not hate, it's ultimately love. It is all really is to get the blood off our hands, man. Because whether they hear or forbear, man. Whether you believe or whether you don't believe. Romans 3 and 3. Whether you believe or whether you don't believe, man. Right, but these are the same guys who will come up and with a Bible in their hand but slap tattoos on themselves. Commit adultery. Eat, 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 eat unlawfully, willingly. 
right? Oh, we can't follow uh, all of them, so we might as well not follow none of them. As if the Lord died so you can sin. The fuck? Each and every day, man, we got to make sure we get ourselves right or, or try to get ourselves right each and every day, man. This is what that grace period is about. We got to try to make get ourselves right, man. You know, and you're not going to get yourself right by willingly diving off into the bullshit. But the reason why you willingly dive off into the bullshit and you pastors don't think you're doing anything wrong or you so-called Christians don't think you're doing anything wrong because your, your, your interpretation of Christianity is false. You thinking that the Lord came and died for your sins so therefore you can sin. But Paul said, man, do we make void the law through faith? No, we establish it. We keep what we can keep. We do what we can do. Why not? It's the perfect way to live. You know? But it goes back to what I was saying, man. It goes back to what, what I was saying, man. Uh, you know, that excuse was made for him. Oh, well, maybe he don't know what he's talking about. Well, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, uh, you know, what the fuck you doing teaching, teaching, teaching a congregation of number? And why are you so proud to learn or try to try to learn and get, you know what I mean? But scriptures talk, scriptures, uh, the Lord says he chooses you. You don't choose him. You know what I mean? These, these dudes, man, it's, it's, it's fucking, it, you know, it, it's like, wow. Like, it's just, like, wow, bro, like, you know, scriptures say that a, a wicked man find an excuse to do evil, man. And that's exactly what the majority of our people do. That's exactly what you Christians do. Right? Tell a female pastor she can't preach. I, I dare you. Give her the order. That is, she don't she's she she's using the Bible to justify. She's using what she thinks the Bible says to justify the bullshit that she's doing. She would do that. And then when you really get down to the nitty-gritty of the Bible and see if these Christians really believe, they don't believe. 10 times out of 10. I remember talking to a Christian a long time ago, man, another family member. Right? I'm like, hey, man, you know, <laughs> the scriptures say this. I was new in the truth. Uh, new, 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 new in the truth. I was like, hey, man, scriptures say this and, and say that about this, about that. He was like, well, and this is a dude who who teaches, who's, who's a choir, who teaches uh, lessons and you know who who does all this all this in the church right all this shit in the church right die hard christian right this is one of them guys this motherfucker had the nerve to tell me well you know some of the books in the bible <laughs> i mean do you know who wrote that and do you know who? i'm like are you kidding me so you don't believe you don't believe because Scriptures say the Lord said, "Not, not, not one of these shall fail." You don't believe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, these Christians, man, when you when you get down to it, and you get to tell them scriptures, and it's as soon as start resonating and hitting, you find out that, or as soon as they start getting cut, right? You find out that uh, spiritually cut, right? Whole cat. Something you don't know nothing about. You start you start seeing that these people really don't believe in the scriptures. And these people don't really fear the Lord. It's all an act. It's all an act. It's all an act in the front. It's what it is. But it, you know, you people, y'all got y'all reward too. <laughs> yeah man you know yeah yeah you, you fuckers are pathetic man you know and anybody that goes against what we say is you a fool you a fool man because 10 times out of 10 you can't back up why you believe in what you believe Right? 
inside of it make you feel good and that's not that's not that's not good enough and it, 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 it'll never be good enough because scripture said when you when you eat the whole roll it, it, it's sweet in your mouth but it's bitter once you start understanding the truth and you start understanding the walk that you gotta walk when you come into this truth you, you, you catch hell man whether it be physically, whether it be mentally, right? You know, and 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 most of you put y'all pastors not doing y'all not catching hell. Y'all not y'all trying to do what y'all can do. If most of y'all pick up the Bible to make money, man. Oh, I built the church, I built this, I built that, I built you, you know, whether you give back to the community or not, it's just it don't it's not good enough. Because what's better than teaching or preaching this word? Truth, it, the truth of it. Right? Scriptures say what? You freely receive, freely give. You can't, pastors don't do that, man. You know? And then you get this, not, uh, you get what you think is knowledge. In the Bible, when you become proud, nobody can't tell you nothing. Right? But pride. The Lord don't deal with pride, man. You know, the Lord hates pride. You know, and 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 the Holy Spirit, is, you know, comes before a downfall. Man. You know, so man, with that, Lord, when we just edify and lowly, I give God something from this video. Only give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakadash. I'm gonna tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next, Shalom.